Deontay Watson. What school you go to? Challenger Elementary School. Right. My name is Luke Flanna, and I go to Nat Forest Elementary. My name is Sam Volk, and I go to Ada Christian. My name is Logan Cost, and I go to Nat Forest. My name is Brian Bakes, and I go to Challenger Elementary. My name is Isaiah Banks, and I go to Challenger Elementary. My name is Gage Kruger, and I go to Orchard View Elementary. My name is Omarius, and I go to Challenger Elementary. My name is John Tremansky, and I go to Ada Christian. My name is Jonathan Spites, and I go to Thornapple Elementary. My name is Lionel, and I go to Shortwood. My name is uh, Head Coach Darian Watson, and I'm the head coach of the third and fourth grade boys basketball team for the Grand Rapids Vipers basketball organization. Hello, everybody. We're here at the um, uh, Grand Rapids MVP Sports Complex, where these young gentlemen just won. The Grand Rapids Vipers just, just won 25 to 20. I'm going to ask you guys some questions, and you tell me this. Now, what was your name again? Sam Volk. All right, Sam, what was the key to your victory today? Um, well, we uh, shared the ball around, and, uh, and we had good shots and played good defense. Excellent. Now, your name is? Deontay Watson. What was the key to victory today, Dion? We Rebounding, passing the ball, and mostly trying to score. Sounds good. And what was your name? Gage. All right, Gage. What was the key to victory today? Um, we had great leadership. Um, I think what made us win was teamwork. Sounds good. Well, hey, you heard it. Teamwork, working the ball around. These three gentlemen were, were the keys to victory. And once again, young man, congratulations. Give me five right here, right here. And let's say this, one, two, three, Vipers. One, one, two, three, Vipers. All right, thank you. Hello, everybody. We're, this is Dennis Bell with Recreational Debut. I'm here with Darian Watson and Jeff Space from the Grand Rapids Vipers. And I'm over here at the MVP Complex, and they put on an outstanding show in which I think they won. What was the score? Uh, the score was 30 to 25. And, you know, um, and, and it's an interesting concept because Darian and Jeff have one of the best sports programs for the young people here in the city of Grand Rapids. And I'm going to ask you, uh, uh, Darian, um, what is your role with the Grand Rapids Vipers? And actually, what is the Grand Rapids Vipers? Well, my role with the Grand, Rap Grand Rapids Vipers is I am the co-founder, co-chairman. My title is president of basketball operations for the Grand Rapids Vipers. And what the Grand Rapids Vipers is all about is we are about uh, putting together a group of individuals, boys and girls, and teaching them the game of basketball fundamentally, you know, from, uh, from A to Z. We, we're about teaching. We're, we're, mostly of our, our concept is fundamentals. We teach the game. Uh, a lot of kids, as you're quite aware, Dennis, are on, on the high school level, you know, they, they're, they're not totally fundamentally sound. And that's what's hurting our kids today. So me and Jeff, about four years ago, decided to get together and uh, we wanted to, you know, focus, have the emphasis on fundamentals. So we're teaching the kids, you know, the fundamentals of the game of basketball. But not, we're not just teaching about the game of basketball. We're teaching the kids about life skills, uh, giving back, you know, being role models. Because we, we kind of we kinda want the emphasis to be on our kids not really being great basketball players. We, we want them to be good in the sport, but we want them to be good people. And so that's our main focus with this program that we started. Uh, we, we focus in on the kids being good citizens, you know, making them be productive citizens in society and, and being, good, being good basketball players, you know, too. So that's our, that's our main concept with the Grand Rapids Vipers. Excellent, Darian. And uh, you did mention Jeff. So, Jeff, what is your role with the Vipers? My role, Dennis, is uh, director of business operations. And what I try to do is find tournaments around the area for these kids to compete in. Uh, what we do is we play a lot of our games at MVP, but we've traveled throughout the state, uh, Detroit, Mount Pleasant, Kalamazoo, uh, get it, giving our children the opportunity to play against not only players that they go to school with, but players around the state. Excellent. Now, what is the name of the league here? Do you? Uh, this is ran by Dan O'Connor, I understand, and it's uh, one of the top leagues here in the city, maybe one of the top in the state. Um, so how do you feel about this league, and what do you think has it's been uh, advantageous for you, or, or, or what? Tell me a little bit about it. Well, this league is uh, in its second year now. Uh, Dan O'Connor started this league. It's a, uh, it's a good league. It's called uh, uh, MVP, Michigan Basketball uh, um, uh, what is it, Michigan, Michigan Basketball no, Academy. Academy? Yes, Michigan Basketball Academy. Uh, I think this league is very good, uh, especially because uh, the concept is more is a competitive league. Uh, 
but also it's a, uh, it gives the kids an opportunity to to uh, for those who just starting also because we got two teams we have a developmental team and a highly competitive team uh, and so it gives it gives both kids uh, all the kids uh, opportunity for those who are their skills are not up to par yet to develop and it also gives the kids that skills are developed an opportunity to play against highly skilled competition so i think the league is excellent for for the youth here in grand rapids and the surrounding west michigan um and this is like i said dan just started this this is the second year um it has grown leaps and bounds i think it's about 60 teams if if I'm not uh, mistaken, that's in this uh, in this league going on at the present time, both boys and girls. So it's a it's a great league. It's a great opportunity for kids that want to learn the game and and wants to play the game of basketball to be a part of. And and we we're always looking for kids. We turn no kids away. You know, we believe every kid should have an opportunity if he or she wants to play and learn the game of basketball. Excellent, Darren. You know, you and uh, Jeff. Um both of you guys came and, uh, and helped Recreational debut uh, when they first kicked off their first exposure camp for the boys. That was September 12th and also, too, for the girls on October 2nd. What is your opinion of that uh, concept of having exposure camps and then trying to help these young kids get athletic scholarships and go to the next level? Well, my opinion with uh, Recreational Debut is uh, I think it is an excellent program, Dennis. Uh, I think you got a wonderful thing there going. It's a great opportunity for, for kids, uh, young men and women, that has the skill level to play at the next level, uh, an opportunity to showcase their talents. Whereas, as you're quite aware, you know, with the... Uh, with this, the economy the way it is in today's society, and a lot of the universities, you know, their recruiting budget has been cut tremendously. So, a lot of a lot of colleges don't have the means to go out and visit recruits, potential recruits in person. So, uh, the internet, uh, be it the internet, is a great tool for recruiting these these days. And uh, with uh, with your you know uh, product recreation debut, it gives the kids. Uh, their, their, their parents, their kids are highly skilled and opportunity to showcase their skills, you know, whereas they might not have an opportunity to do that because they're not uh, uh, known or, you know, their, their name is not out there on the, on the recruitment trail. So that gives, that gives them an opportunity to get their name out there and give coaches an opportunity to find these kids that are not really, quote unquote, being highly recruited or that their name is not out, out there on the on the top you know uh, recruiting list so that's a good that's a good avenue a good means for people to have to be able to use recreation debut so that they can you know uh, promote their child and, and get their get their name out there uh, because uh, I tell you in the time that uh, we've been involved with recreation debut we have a we have seen tremendous uh, growth and seen tremendous uh, positive things in, in regards to kids who you might not have even heard of before. Now they're being, you know, recruited by colleges because of your, of your uh, business, you know, that you have out there for the kids. And I'll let Jeff inter intervene on that a little bit more. Absolutely, Jeff. Give us your opinion. Well, the beautiful thing about Rec debut, and I have a, a high school son who's been talked to by some, some colleges around the area. The problem is. Uh, a lot of companies make a lot of promises they can't keep. Rec Debut tells you the way it is. Everybody is straight up. I've gotten calls not only from the owner of the company, but his support staff asking if we had any other questions. As a parent, that makes me feel uh, extremely confident about the services and, and products that the Rec Debut organization offers. Thank you, Jeff. And, and um, Darian, um, I just want to say these two young men are doing an outstanding job with their program, the Grand Rapids Vipers. And it is truly a pleasure for me to be associated with them because with support like this, recreational debut is going to go a long way. And I hope that we can support them because they have one of the best youth programs here in the city of Grand Rapids. And I'm trying to say once again, I want to thank you, Darian, and you, Jeff, for spending some time with us and, and talking about your program and those kind words you said about recreational debut. Well, you're quite welcome, Dennis. Uh, like I said, man, uh, uh, people out there, you know, Dennis uh, has a wonderful product going, recreational debut. I encourage anybody that has a son or daughter who has the potential to play at the next level to use his services that he have available to you. 
uh, it's a wonderful marketing tool, recruiting tool for your child. And, uh, and you know, we're, we're going to, myself and Jeff and the Grand Rapids Vipers, we support, you know, Recreational Debut 110%. And, and we're, we're proud to be affiliated with Recreational Debut. Thank you very much. And, uh, and that's all here at the MVP Fieldhouse.